This is nuts. I made this 3D multiplayer Flappy Bird game using only ChatGPT plugin for Roblox Studio. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence tool, which means humans did not write the code. As you know, you can earn a lot of Robux on Roblox, and this video will take you to the next level. So make sure you watch the entire video. Alright, let's use the plugin. All we need to do is write create Flappy Bird game. Okay, that didn't work out. It provided us a simple template and it comprehended what needed to be implemented. Let's try another approach. I organized the video into following segments because I'm a very nice guy. First, let's import a model of a bird. The marketplace in Roblox is incredible where you can find things without spending any cash. Isn't that simply amazing? Next, let's craft some wings and bring them to life with animation. Designing a map is the most challenging aspect. We are going to generate obstacles between which the bird has to fly. The way I approach is following. I created two parts top of each other and having a gap in between. Precise coordinates and distances are critical. And the last is simply executing the loop and invoking the function. Our aim is to position the bird's nest at the end of the map. For this, we need to locate the final wall. Once that's done, we will shift the bird's nest to that location. We can use move to function for it. Of course, user controls are an essential component. In a game like Flappy Bird, the player is unable to move left or right. The only action available is to jump. The mechanism is similar to a double jump, but in our case we allow for unlimited number of jumps. In other words, the only action is to fly. Jumping is not enough. We also need to move the bird in a direction of the bird's nest. How do we achieve that? We find the bird's nest location and we use move to function. The death system is very simple. We add touched event listeners to each part and if a player's character touches the part the character will take damage and he will die he will born again we need to create worms why because if a bird touches a worm, we want to increase the score. 
worms will be located in a gap. We are cloning a worm template. I have one template in my workspace. Now we need to change the cloned model's position. And finally, we add a tiny animation using a twin service. How do we increase the score? Roblox has a default built-in system for it. Player instance must have leader stats folder and inside of this folder there must be int value. Now if we are changing the int values, Roblox automatically creates and updates a scoreboard. And of course we want to have a sound which is played when a bird touches a worm. And if a player dies, we want to reset the score. Every game needs graphical user interface. We can display text, buttons and images on the screen. When the player reaches the bird's nest, we want to display how many worms did the player collect. And we want to have play again button. We achieve that by using screen grey, text label and text button. When the player reaches the bird's nest, we want to display the score on the screen. How do we do it? Thanks for asking. It's important to understand server and client communication. I created remote event named game ended event in the replicated storage folder. I did it manually, but you can also do it with a code. When the player touches the bird's nest, the server triggers the remote event. On the client side, we are listening to that remote event. We are also sending the score value from the server to the client side. The client, we call it local script, is listening to that event. It takes the score and displays it on the screen. When the player clicks at the play again button, the player score must be clear and also the player must be teleported to the beginning. How do we do it? We are using remote events once again. Obviously, because it is client and server communication. When the player clicks the play again button, play again event is triggered. I created this remote event manually in my replicated storage. The server is listening to that remote event. And the server will reset the score and teleport at the player. Why can't we reset the score on the client side? It's a good question and perhaps in another video.